Uh, geothermal heating and cooling is when you take the energy out of the ground and use that to heat and cool your home. In a typical geothermal system, you'll drill four 200-foot wells, you'll tie them together, and you'll extract that heat out of the ground and bring it into the house. I have geothermal in my home because it's the most efficient way to heat and cool a home. Geothermal uses energy that's in the ground. That energy is free, it doesn't pollute, it's renewable, and it is the best way to heat and cool a home. There's multiple ways to get geothermal systems into the ground. You can use vertical loops, you can use horizontal, you can use lakes, and you can use wells. Um, in a city environment, which is where we're working most of the time, we're using vertical loops because most people don't have the land to go horizontally. Vertical loops are one of the more efficient. They're a little bit more costly to do the vertical loops. Um, the least expensive is lake loops. Um, they're about half the cost of a of getting a drilling rig and, and drilling in your yard. In a typical system, we'll drill 200 feet for every ton of heating or cooling in your house. So if a house has four tons, we'll drill four 200-foot loops in the ground, 10 feet apart, and we'll tie those together and bring that into the house. Each of the holes are six inches in diameter. We drop two three-quarter inch pipes we fill the void, so now you have a pipe that's going down into a hole 200 feet, and you have air that's between the pipe and the ground, so you have to get good contact with the ground. So we fill that void with a grout. The grout is a thermal grout, so it, we match the thermal conductivity of the ground. The grout goes in as a powder. As the groundwater hits it, it expands and swells, and now you have really tight contact with the ground and really tight contact with the pipe. Geothermal heating and cooling systems also heat your hot water. In the summertime, we're taking the heat from the house and we're putting it into the ground. Instead of putting it into the ground, we can actually put it into your hot water. And we could raise your hot water up to 120 degrees without using your gas or your electric. Uh, a geothermal system, typically over a year, will give you about 60 to 80 percent of your hot water for free. When we drill these four 200-foot wells in, in your backyard, um, you have to picture it like a big battery. In the summertime, we're charging the battery. We're taking the heat from the house and we're heating the ground and putting all that energy into the house. Then in the wintertime, we're taking that same energy and we're putting it back into the house and, and heating the house with it. So you're taking your energy and you're moving it back and forth from the house to the ground and from the ground to the house. You're not having to pay Ameren or Laclede gas or your utility company for that energy. For more information on geothermal energy, call Hoffman Brothers today.